Hey, it's Janes, and in this tutorial, I will show you how to deploy our ASP.NET Core application to Docker. First, you need to have um, this web API.NET Core application. So, if you haven't followed the last tutorial, you can find uh, the source code here at the github.com slash yamzi slash core API. Uh, download this master branch, uh, so we will deploy the web API um, edition without uh, entity framework. Like this. And if you go to the command line and, and clone it, uh, you get the core API folder. Uh, so go here to the core API folder and make sure this application works by uh, hitting .NET restore to restore all the NuGet packages. And once this is completed, uh, run the .NET run and your application should start. And if I go to the postman, um, I fired the get request and I um, got the three values back, which is correct. Okay our application works and now we will um, deploy it to the docker so to the docker container um, for this you will need uh, to have docker installed you can uh, learn more about docker on the uh, docs.docker.com uh, getting started um, i will show you how to install the docker for windows but you can also use it on the mac os or on the linux uh, so go over to docs.docker.com, Docker for Windows, and uh, under Getting Started, you can download Docker for Windows. This is the new version. Um, in the previous version, uh, it was uh, running the uh, virtual machine in the virtu virtual box, but uh, from now on, it's um, natively on the Hyper-V. So when you install this Docker for Windows, it will install all the tools. And um, I have already installed this. And if I click here on the Docker for Windows, it will launch our uh, virtual machine and uh, our Docker tools. So uh, if I go to the Hyper-V, you can see that uh, there's a mobile Linux VM. And on this VM, we um, we install and build our containers okay like this uh, you can see the icon the docker is starting and now we can access our docker from um, command line uh, the commands are like this docker and we get uh, all the commands okay because we um, created our asp.net core application with uh, yeoman we already have a Docker file in our project. So if you go to the core API folder, you can see the Docker file here. And the structure of Docker file is like this. If I zoom a little bit, um, we take the base image. So we take the image from Microsoft slash .NET, and we take the la latest uh, image, and we copy the current directory to the slash app directory. Um, we move there so to the slash app directory and we run the .NET restore and the .NET build commands. So this will build the DLLs for our ASP.NET Core application. Um, and next, we expose the port uh, 5000 on the container and we uh, lastly run the .NET run command and we specify the <clears throat> entry point to the application. Um, so we expose the port 5000 of our application um, like this and basically this is all set up uh, for us uh, so we need to build this uh, container with our application so if we go to the command line we can just type docker build minus t is for naming our image so i will uh, name it yanes uh, slash ASP.NET and the dot is the um, current directory so it will take the docker file from this core API folder like this and I hit enter and uh, <clears throat> because I already downloaded this Microsoft.NET image it was fast 
but in your case it will uh, download it, this first and uh, then copy and basically do the all these uh, commands okay like this and we can get uh, now we created a docker image and we can get all these images by typing docker images <clears throat> You can see we have two images. One is the original uh, Microsoft Flash.net, which we imported here. And our image is the, um, we added one layer, uh, let's say one layer. So uh, it's Microsoft Flash.net plus our application. Okay. And we can run our uh, Docker container by typing Docker run dash p so now we will map our port 80 to the 5000 on the container you will see then it will make sense but uh, for now let's just write it and uh, the name of the image like this so docker run dash p we uh, map the ports and um, yanes uh, slash asp.net like this and now our uh, Docker container is running. <clears throat> uh, we can open another tab just to make sure, like this. And we run the Docker PS. <clears throat> this will list all the running containers. And we can see that uh, our container is running, uh, 19 seconds, and we are mapping, we are mapping the port. So now, we can access our application by going to the local host and because it's the port 80 we can get rid of the port number api slash values and this will call our container just like this and uh, let me show you that if i stop this container um docker ps it's still running and we can stop it like docker stop and um, either a container ID or the name, like this. Now, if I go to the postman, I don't get these values. Next step for us would be to deploy this uh, container image to the Docker Hub, or deploy it to production on the Azure or AVS and Google, um, all public clouds that supports uh, containers.